Here's how to look like a bag of money on a budget. Soft girl era, clean girl aesthetic, divine feminine, whatever you want to call it. Most of the it girl look is centered around two main themes, hygiene and a minimalistic approach to beauty and fashion. Hygiene can elevate anyone. And this goes for both genders. The goal here is to look clean and well-groomed. For hair, I've noticed more polished and sleek looks are staples in this aesthetic. Buns and ponytails are very popular. You should also make sure to stay up on trims and maintain health over length. No ratty ends and no flyaways, please. This look also favors minimal elegant makeup versus a full face bee, which is why skincare plays such a huge role in achieving this look. When you think of expensive, luxurious celebrities, you think of clear, healthy, glowing skin. When you take care of your skin, you naturally don't have to put much effort into makeup. You would just use it to enhance certain features. Features I think that are important to highlight are eyes, eyebrows, and lips. Mascara, well-groomed brows, and hydrated lips will take you far. So make Make sure to incorporate a diligent skincare routine. And if you're struggling with acne, I'm an esthetician who's been through it and have a ton of videos to help. I'll link one right here. I also think it's worth mentioning that there are these really cute pimple patch stickers. They have like stars and hearts and things like that that I feel like have become an aesthetic within itself and have been adopted into the clean girl culture. So don't think that you're not able to achieve this look if you have acne. Next, we have body skin and nails. Nothing screams expensive about dry, ashy skin. Use a moisturizing lotion every day and exfoliate often. When it comes to your nails, you don't necessarily have to get your nails done to look put together. Simple things like cuticle oil, clear polish, filing and cleaning your nails regularly will elevate your look. Now, if you do get your nails done, sticking to nudes, light pinks, and French tips will do it every single time. Smell is another thing that can make or break you. Aim to smell as pleasant as you can as often as possible. You should shower at least once a day, but I recommend twice. This doesn't require fragrance, but it definitely doesn't hurt. If you do, stick to more sophisticated smells rather than something that's overly sweet or floral. And please make use of deodorant. Bio is not an option. This goes for breath as well. Brush and floss twice a day and make sure to keep mints or gum on hand in case of emergencies. Now let's talk about minimalistic fashion. This aesthetic thrives and relies on one major thing, accessories. If you break down outfits from this look, you'll see that everything is pretty basic when it comes to the physical clothing. Neutral tones are favored as well as monochromatic looks, but Accessories are what brings everything together to be cohesive. It's the spice in the recipe. Investing in timeless, high quality pieces of jewelry is going to be an essential piece of achieving this look, which surprisingly doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. Anna Luisa is a perfect example of this and have sent me over four beautiful pieces that I'm going to share with you guys today. Now I've got extremely sensitive skin, which makes it hard for me to find jewelry that doesn't flare up my eczema, but I've been wearing these pieces with no problem. Everything is really well made and gold plated, which means you can shower with with it, you can sweat in it and it won't tarnish. Green is my favorite color and I'm a Taurus, so I got this malachite pendant necklace, these beautiful huggy hoops that encompass malachite within them, this snake chain, and these dual gemmed earrings that have both malachite and freshwater pearls. I am obsessed with these pieces and I'm so excited to build my Ana Luisa collection. And if you're interested in building yours, check out the link in bio and use Alexis 20 for 20% off their spring collection. Other accessories that can elevate your look are going to be scarves, which can be worn on your head or around your neck, hats, handbags, and sunglasses. Good fitting clothes are also pretty important to the expensive look as well. Instead of following fads, stick to things that work for your body type and your silhouette. And pair basics with a statement piece and you'll never lose. A couple of people I really feel like embody this philosophy are Alexa Demi, her best friend Taylor Russell, Zoe Kravitz, Lori Harvey, and Zendaya. It is the type of effortless look that I feel like most of us are trying to achieve. Posture is another thing that I think is super underrated. Straighten up your back, shoulders back, and when you walk into a room, you hold your head high. Make direct eye contact, keep open body language, and portray yourself as a confident human being even when you're not. The best thing about confidence is no one knows if it's real or not. Fake it till you make it. Own the room and take up space. Everything is linked in the bio. Okay, love you, bye.